Signature Project Part 2, SE504, Dr. Abernathy, presented to you by Eva Cheyenne Wilson. Identified Problem The identified problem of this study is that chronic absenteeism affects student achievement in their area of reading. Being chronically absent means missing 10% or more of the current school year. As a teacher, it has been easy for me to observe the positive effects that consistent instruction has on student achievement versus students not receiving consistent instruction. The first slide of original data on the left side of your screen is the 2019 NAEP report card for reading. On this report card, it indicates that 28% of Alabama students were proficient in the area of reading, while the national average was 34% proficient, which is a 6% difference. On the bottom right side of your screen is the 2019 NAEP report card for math. This report card indicated that 28% of Alabama students were proficient in the area of math, while 40% of students nationally were proficient in the area of math, which is a 12% difference. The next slide of original data on the left side of your screen is the State Department's 2019 report card for the entire state of Alabama. It indicated that 11.17% of Alabama students were chronically absent, which does correspond with the NAEP report card differences um, on the previous slide. On the bottom right side of your screen is the 2019 J.U. Blackshire report card. This indicated that 18% of students were chronically absent which resulted in only 57% of our students being academically sound. Background investigation. The data from my study was pulled from the 2019 NAEP math and reading report cards, along with the Alabama State Department report card for 2019. The methodology of the study. This is a quantitative methodology study. The population of the study was third grade students in the state of Alabama. The sampling of the study was third grade students at J.U. Blackshire. During the study, I will place students into two groups. Students that have not been considered chronically absent in grades pre-K through second grade and students who have been considered chronically absent in grades pre-K through second grade. At the end of this, and at the end of these students' third grade school year, their Ames Web data will be reviewed to see which group has the highest reading proficiency. Instrumentation. Each third grade student at J.U. Blackshire must take Ames Web reading assessment three times a year during the fall, winter, and spring. The spring data will be the main focus of this study. <clears throat> this assessment will focus on the following areas. Vocabulary, silent reading fluency, oral reading fluency, and reading comprehension. The final score, which is the composite score, from these areas will determine the student proficiency in the area of reading. Collaborative efforts. Teachers will need to provide highly qualified instruction daily. Administrators will need to provide data in a reasonable amount of time. Students will need to come to school ready to learn. And parents must ensure their child is at school ready to learn. Procedures of the study. Pre-K through second grade teachers will take daily attendance of their homeroom students.
school counselor will pull attendance at the end of the second grade from power school to determine student grouping. The reading coach and third grade teachers will help administer the Ames Web Assessment to third grade students three times a year. Third grade students will take the Ames Web Assessment, then the data will be compiled. Internal and external validity. A biased opinion would be a threat to internal validity. The Ames Web Assessment is an assessment given by every K-5 teacher in Monroe County. The Ames Web Assessment is the same assessment given to each student with the same set of rules. Therefore, this is a reliable assessment to use for this study. Ethical Considerations I would obtain permission from the county superintendent along with school administrators to complete the study. Participant safety is of the utmost importance. Therefore, all data will be kept confidential and in a locked safe area. Once the study begins, students will be referred to as numbers instead of by their names. Results. At the end of second grade, attendance data of the upcoming third graders will be gathered for pre-K through second grade. Their Ames Web data will monitor students during their third grade year. Each assessment will focus on the following areas. Vocabulary, silent reading fluency, oral reading fluency, and reading comprehension. These areas' final composite score on the end of year test will determine the student reading proficiency. Reflection. If I could change my original plan, I would include instructional time expected for all students to receive daily. I would also want to include more monitoring of students who receive special services. Another issue to research would be students who are chronically tardy to school. Reading is generally the first subject of the day for elementary students. So, some students may not miss an entire day of school, but miss the majority of their reading block. Thank you for listening to my signature project. Part 2 Presentation